permaculture ponds in the high desert. Usually dry, but in big rains, this arroyo will run like a small creek, big creek, or even a river sometimes. Over millennia, this arroyo has cut through the layer of Fort Hayes limestone and deposited gravel bars. There's a nice outcrop of the Fort Hayes limestone right there. And then looking downstream, there's the ranch headquarters. We mine this good gravel out of these bars and use it for projects all around the ranch, like the ranch driveway, the many ranch roads, and we put it around stock tanks. For the last couple years, after I get a gravel bar mined out, I take the last dirty bits, the less clean gravel, and I push it up into a berm, make a catch dam, a catch pond. I've got quite a bit of clean, good gravel to dig out of this berm. But when I get down to the dirty stuff, I'll push it up into a check dam or a catch dam right there. Not a big dam. It'll just be a nice berm right here in this area. This will just slow the water down, catch a pond behind it, and let the rest of the flow go right on by. Eventually, I hope to have a whole series of these catch dams above and even past the ranch headquarters in the garden. I hope that they work sort of like beaver dams. Just catch, soak, and spread that water out as it runs down the arroyo. Let's walk upstream and check out the gravel bar I dug out last year and the dam. Here's the gravel bar I dug out last year. This is where I pushed up the leftovers into a nice mellow berm. Water can run right over that without eroding it. It's already starting to green up and grass over. This old chunky Fort Hayes limestone doesn't hold water very well. The pond doesn't hold water, but the idea is to soak it into the ground. Soak it and spread it all the way down the arroyo, past the ranch houses and the garden. I'm trying to make something like beaver dams in the desert. Walking downstream, you can see this outcrop of the Fort Hayes limestone. It's about 30 feet thick, and that's what the gravel bars are made of. If I was to dig too deep in that gravel bar, eventually I'd hit bedrock like this. This rocky layer of limestone isn't going to hold water very good. It's not going to make very good ponds, but I hope to soak the water into the ground, into the water table, and I hope it shows up down by the ranch house and the garden. Here's the layers of rock. Here's the geology. This is Fort Hayes limestone. Below that, there's a marine sandstone. Below these layers of rock, there's a thick bed of clay. It's called Blue Hills clay. And that's what the ranch headquarters, the gardens built on. Because of the nice clay down there, the ponds down there hold water a lot better. Hopefully I can get a two for one. I'll use the gravel and then the ponds I leave behind will help charge up the groundwater. Let's take a trip downstream, check out the arroyo and the ponds below here.
Here's another gravel bar that got dug out, turned into a pond. Still got a little water in it. Hopefully it soaks a little water into the ground for this shallow well. It's an old hand dug well, a lot like what I have at the garden. Still some water in there. Now we've dropped down an elevation just below the sandstone layer. When the old timers dug that hand dug well for that windmill, they dug through that sandstone layer, chipped through it into the clay. That's what holds the water. My hope for the gravel bar ponds above here is that they will just feed underground in the water table these ponds below. Maybe someday these water holes and ponds below will be more permanent. This nice little pond is permanent. It stays through the winter. Let's head on downstream to the garden and check things out. Pushed this catch dam up last year. It's pretty loose and the water went right through it. But down below, the two year old dams, they're holding water much better. Hopefully over time, these ponds will continue to seal. They'll hold water longer. But this is better than they did last year. Things are looking up. The wildlife and the birds and our cattle really love to come down here and cool off. Let's head on down. A little bit more to check out. Almost done.
all this wet ground is really good too. One thing for sure is that the water in this shallow well has risen quite a bit. It's hard to tell on camera. That's a good three feet deep. Last time we were down here was about 18 inches. Thanks for hanging out at the windmill garden today and checking out the pond project. Leave suggestions in the comments section. Tell us about your permaculture projects, pond projects, etc. If anyone has some good tricks on sealing ponds, building ponds, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot.